What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So these guys right here will be getting a bath this week. We are going to completely disassemble these. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with what these are, I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner. These are actually RX 570 4 gig cards that have had the Arctic cooler and backplate installed on them. So we're going to be giving them a bath in this 99% alcohol uh, cleaner this week. We're gonna disassemble them entirely. I might as well just dump that stuff on these things. They are so dirty. But today I'm excited to talk about the Sapphire Pulse AMD Radeon RX 6600. I have been buying a ton of NVIDIAs recently and I'm so thrilled to be able to pick this up brand new. No special way, I don't know a dealer, I didn't get it from a bot. I actually got this straight off of a retail site, but I did pay the piper. It was, you ready for it? It was $4.99. So for $4.99 plus $30 flat shipping, it was $529. I, it kind of makes me cringe a little bit because day one they were down in the low 400s. I even heard somebody got one for $349 and then they all got bought up and then they all got relisted for $200 more. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm excited to go ahead and put this to the test. I have a handful of 1660 Ti's and I feel like this is the new generation for the 1660. Decent hash rate around that 30 mark and low wattage, which is starting to become the new norm for us miners. We want that 30 plus for sub 75 watts and I think this is going to give it to us now this is not as good as the 6600 XT I'm in the process of trying to get my hands on one of those so if you know anywhere that does have them at a reasonable price please please go ahead and reach out to me so let's go ahead and unbox our RX 6600 okay I'm excited to open this up uh, it has not even had the seal cut yet on it um, so I always like keeping my boxes in good condition so uh, I can always resell them if needed plus boxes are like a nice little trophy uh, as a miner so let's go ahead and open this up I like how they advertise like 1080 not even like 4k or anything in these I don't even know that I would buy this for a gaming uh, GPU to be honest with you okay the plain brown box any of you guys have GPUs that are just brown box GPUs uh, six of my 470s are just brown box GPUs. I have them still. They actually still have the serial number on them. Okay, so I've been really impressed with Sapphire Pulse and Sapphire Nitros. Uh, I kind of put the Sapphire at like one of the top levels when it comes down to quality uh, for some of these manufacturers out there. There are a lot of really low, bad, kind of bottom in the barrel that we as miners settle for sometimes. So I am really excited that I got my hands on a Sapphire Pulse. I actually have one other Sapphire Pulse, but I have 12 other Sapphire Nitros. Look at this little thing. This is the size of the 3060. This is like, you know what this almost reminds me? Uh, this is probably a little bit larger than actually my EVGA 1066 gig uh, minis. Uh, this is a small card. Holy cow. Here, we'll give you guys the pleasure. The pleasure, man. Peeling off that plastic. The worst is when you get a secondhand card and, like, it's been running for years and the person still has the plastic on it. Okay, so the outside shroud is still, like, a decent quality material, even though it is this plasticky material. It does use one 8-pin, which is a, a blessing uh, for us miners. Uh, love these fans a little different they're different than what we see like with the nitros uh, or even the pulse uh, definitely different uh, I wonder I wonder if they are the same technology though with the way that you can clip these in uh, can I see in here so I can kind of see a screw back in here I don't think these are no these aren't somebody in chat may know uh, I'm not gonna take them off but um, I don't think these are, um, no, I don't think these are. I don't think these have the same snap in technology to it. I would be really surprised, especially for the price point on it. Uh, let's see here. 
So we have, what do we have here? HDMI, DisplayPort, DisplayPort, and DisplayPort. Okay. And uh, other than that, nothing else too crazy. Nice and clean on the back. Sapphire Pulse there, Radeon. I've seen enough. You guys ready to put in the test bench? Let's go. Okay, cool. So we are installed. We're gonna get our little power button that we ripped out of an old HP tower. And let's power on our first Sapphire Pulse RX 6600 in three, two, and one. And off we go. Heck yeah, guys, I'm excited. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to Hive OS and we'll take a look. Okay, so stock right now, it looks like we're at 26.64 when it comes down to our hash rate on Ethereum running T-Rex. Temps are 67, um, so the cooling is actually pretty good on it. Traditionally, this will get into the 70s. Uh, very quickly, uh, but as of right now, looking pretty good. I bet you, I wonder if I refresh again, if we're going to see in the 70s after this has been mining uh, for a minute. Yep, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so high. Okay, so let me go ahead and take a look at what we're getting at the wall for stock uh, wattage. Okay, so let's take a look at our kilowatt meter. It says 974, 97, okay, so, oh, 98, 99, 97, okay, we'll say 97 and a half. Okay, so we're on 97 and a half right now. Now, we have to uh, remove 20 watts from that, that covers the motherboard and everything like that, uh, because that's what my test bench uses without even a card in it, just a sitting idle. So that puts us right now at stock, we're at 77.5 watts. So now let's go ahead and get some overclock settings in. And I've taken a look at what a lot of other people have been using. Uh, I actually put out a community post yesterday and got a boatload of responses from you guys. Um, I put out a post that just said, hey, I'm pick I picked up a 6600. You know, what's everyone getting for hash rates and watts? And a lot of you guys went ahead and dropped in there a lot of your overclock settings, so thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and test out the most common one that I'm finding out there. Okay, so our overclock settings that we're using for our Sapphire Pulse 6600, uh, I've tweaked these a lot and played with these a lot, and man, you don't see a lot of change. Uh, so our core clock, we're at 900. Our core voltage, we are at 620. Our memory core voltage, we're at 620. Our memory clock, we're at 950. Our memory voltage, 1100. And then we're running our fan right now just at 100% during our testing. So let's go ahead and jump over to our voltage meter and see what our wattage currently is. Mining Ethereum right now at just shy of 30 mega hash all right let's take a look here we are at 77 4 77 1 79 wow 77 7 78 all right we're gonna go with 78 uh, 77 6. Okay, so 77.6 seemed to be right about where our average was. Um, you know, there was a little 78 there, some spikes here and there, but I, uh, averaging about 77.6 minus 20, which is what our test bench uses, as we talked about previously, we're now down to 57.6 watts. Holy cow, like insane. Okay, so let's figure out our daily profitability here. So over on what to mine, we're gonna do show more. Now, the 6600 by itself isn't even on here yet, but you do have the 6600 XT at the top. If we went with that, that one you can see it's at 32.5 mega hash, which is why I want to get my hands on a 6600 XT so badly. But we're going to replace that. We're going to replace that with uh, our 6600 stats. We're going to do 28.90 and our watts of 57.6. So let's go ahead and calculate here. Now our electricity cost is in place already, so we're good to go. And when we come down here and dive into Ethereum, you can see that our revenue per day is $2.24 with an eight cents per day cost and expense. That's nuts. Giving us a total of $2.16 profit per day. 
unreal now if we go up here and put in our hardware costs which was the 529.99 and we hit calculate it is going to take us 244 days to break even which anything under a year is phenomenal i go after it no problem and uh yeah this puts us in phenomenal standings i am in love guys with the sapphire pulse 6600 Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap things up for today. These 6600 and the 6600 XT may be my new favorite GPU. The 1660 Ti, man, that's the one right here, the MSI is here. They're awesome cards, don't get me wrong, but for 30 mega hash, give or take, at 57 watts, that's really hard to beat now the hard part is going to be getting our hands on these everybody and their brother right now has bought these and now is reselling them for two to three hundred dollars more so if i can find more of these in the four hundred dollar range which is what i'm buying the 6600 or the 1660 ti's second hand it'd be a huge win a huge win moving forward to increase my total ethereum hash rate in my farm well guys if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please comment down below have you gotten yourself any of these 60 uh 6600 or the 6600 xts and what are you seeing for hash rates what are you seeing for watts i think these are the new thing guys oh i'm so excited amd at it again let's go ahead and get rid of that greedy nvidia all right, guys, you guys have a great night and take care.